Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about what is coming today, and that is Black Friday. This is the loading screen with record breaker cards on the front page. They've given us some hints late tonight on a Thursday night. I want to talk about what could be coming with the promo today, what type of content we could be seeing, market movements. Uh, there's a lot of unknowns with the best of team of the week that is in packs. A lot of stuff happened yesterday on Thursday, and I'll talk about that towards the end of the video, but I first want to focus on what could be happening today on Friday. So, of course, that loading screen. People want to know, what is this car design? Well, let's talk about it because we actually know what this car design is. This is the record breaker car design because earlier this week, uh, before we get into specifics, earlier this week I was tweeted this picture of somebody on the PlayStation 4 that I saw in the, that had, that had saw this in the game. That is the exact same design as the record breaker listed here as this, uh, these pictures. There was something EA, I think, when they were updating. This might have been on PC. No, actually it was on, X, on uh, PlayStation. But, uh, somebody had this screenshot from in-game. This is not manufactured, this is a picture from their phone. Um, and the record breaker card was in the game earlier this week. Um, inside of the actual transfer market search. So this design is the record breaker design, but it might be different this year. Usually record breakers are just cards that are involved with a team of the week for breaking the record. They get a team of the week card, right? This year we have seen hero items in team of the week, but no record breakers yet. We already have had a, a promo called rule breakers, and now it almost looks like that we're going to be having a promo called record breakers alongside of the Black Friday promotion. Now, usually Black Friday, we only have best of team of the week in packs, but it looks like this year is going to be different. So a couple players that this could be on the front. Uh, Willian is one. Coutinho is another. Firmino is another for this Brazilian shout here. I think this is going to be a pretty big player in all honesty. Uh, and then for the French, 92 dribbling with the France nationality. It could be Mbappe. It could be Usman Dembele. And then over here... For this date of 9-28-2019, there's a couple shouts for this. Uh, one is Buffon, another is uh, Ter Stegen. So, if this if this is what it looks like, it looks like a saucy new set of promo cards possibly coming into packs today. Now, this is very interesting, right? Because yesterday, we had the whole um, pre... We had best of team league cards that were put into packs on the pre-Black Friday, which the stuff that we had yesterday for pre-Black Friday with all these cards returning to packs is basically what the, the Black Friday promo usually is. They just throw best of cards back into packs, they do flash SBCs, and they do an icon SBCs, and they call it a day. And that is exactly what we had yesterday in foot. So again, with all the stuff that happened yesterday, I think that's going to cause a little bit more panic this morning on Friday, especially when people wake up and see the loading screen. It's going to be very, very interesting. Do we have... We do not have a live Flash SBC at the moment, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not seeing a Flash SBC at the moment. But um, I do think today what you're going to see on Friday morning is you're going to see a little bit of panic because it does look like we're getting a new promo team in packs. People are going to be unsure what that means for the market and what that means for the day today. So I do think you are going to see some panic selling. Now, on a especially some of these best of team of the week cards that have been put back into packs. What EA did today was an absolute masterclass. They did an absolute masterclass for people's, for themselves, right? They, what they did today was they got people to open packs. They got people to open their saved packs because they did not put out promo packs today. No lightning rounds, just flash SBCs. And uh, people opened their saved up packs because these new, uh, cards are in packs and people are like, yo, this is Black Friday. So I'm, I'm opening my packs. I'm trying to pack these best of team of the week players like Messi, like Mane, Conte, Ben Yedder. I knew they were going to throw in Renato Sanchez and they did. Rashford, Valverde. And what happened with these cards today was they dropped a little bit. Then they rebounded big time. And now they're coming back down from all the pack supply with what is going to happen today. The first thing that I expect to happen, this, this, um, Black Friday promo today should start at 2 p.m. UK time because if you go in the store and look at the promo packs, what you will see is that these expire at 2 p.m. UK. So whatever that is for you, rest of the world, wherever your time zone is, 2 p.m. UK. So four hours before the normal content drop is when we should see the actual Black Friday promo starting. And that might mean, I don't know if there's going to be promo cards in packs or, excuse me, promo packs in the store at that time. I would think that if there's new cards coming to packs, which it looks like there is, they would come out at 6 p.m. UK, but maybe the first flash SBC of the day on Friday will take place 
at 2 p.m. UK time. So that is something to watch out for. But again, what kind of content could we see today? It looks like, again, a promo team is coming into packs. And with that, usually on promo Fridays, we see SBCs. I would be very surprised if we did not get a player SBC today. We got three icons yesterday. We'll talk about those in a little bit. Um, but I would be very surprised if we did not get a player SBC today. I do think we will get one. One interesting thing to notice, and I've heard people talking about this, are the 81 plus SBCs. This 81 plus double upgrade. I don't know how expensive rares are at the moment right now, um, but if you wanted to uh, stock your club with rares, rare golds, because that is what you need to complete this SBC, people love doing upgrade packs when there's a special team that is in packs, right? People will hammer these 81 plus doubles. Now there are lightning rounds. A lot of packs should be open today. So you might see some of the rare golds uh, get supplied a lot, but there's gonna be a lot of demand for them as well if there is a promo team in packs. So maybe you take a step ahead this morning before everything comes out um, and maybe stock your club with some discard rares uh, and, or maybe build up a few of these packs if you wanna get that ready before the content drop today just to be ahead of the game possibly and, sell, and trying to pack a new promo card if you wanna go about it that way. So I would expect a player SBC today, flash SBCs all day once again. Um, and then in terms of SBCs, that's probably it. We had an objective player yesterday in Delafleu. Uh, with the Serie A League player, I would not be surprised if we had another objective player related to the promo team come out today as well. I'm honestly expecting 11 players in packs based off the loading screen because whenever they do a loading screen like this, boys, I'm pretty sure it's got 100% of the time they do a loading screen, the player goes into packs. Now, last year, we had the player moments card that was released. I don't know if they did a loading screen for that or not for Black Friday the morning before. Um, but that was obviously not players in packs. This time, I think it is, if, especially if they have three cards on the front, it's usually meaning that there are cards coming back into packs. So with that, I would expect a player SBC and an objective to come out today for a player. So it should be a big day of content in terms of that. Now let's talk about the market. What's gonna happen this morning, right? Obviously, a lot of people opened packs yesterday. Some prices are rebounding back up right now. Um, you saw a lot of gold items go down a bunch today. Now, I'm not specific on a few of these cards, like what their prices actually went to. Let's take a look at Joe Gomez really fast. What is he up to right now? Uh, because Joe Gomez, I think is like 70, 70, mid 70s. Looks like he's about 72 or maybe 73,000 coins. But how low did he go today with all the panic? So Joe Gomez was about 80,000 coins on PlayStation before everything happened today. Uh, Flippin says he was at 69,000 coins after the content drop when people open their saved up packs for best of team of the week i guarantee you he was lower than that a lot of stuff dipped really low today in the first hour or two and then it has now rebounded back especially if it's an out of packs card i do think you will see panic selling this morning i do think if you want to look at rule breakers if you want to look at icons if you want to look at any of those types of really really meta cards that are out of packs even some of the golds that are out of packs, right? We have these, all these cards right now are out of packs. Messi, Ramos, Mane, um, Conte, Walker, Rashford, Valverde. Those are all pretty meta items, right? Especially some of the higher rated ones like Rashford, uh, Conte, and um, who was the other one that I wanted to mention from this list? Um, Walker, Kyle, all of those gold cards will be a very, very, important place to watch this morning on Friday. If you see panic on those, that is a huge opportunity to buy because those are out of packs and they're not getting supplied and they're still very valuable for people in this game. So I do think you'll see a nice rise on those cards if you get them early enough and if there is panic. And of course, throughout the rest of the market, one thing I'm gonna be looking for today is panic selling across the entire game and cr across the entire market on out of packs informs specials, rule breakers, you know the drill, stuff we've been talking about for a while. Um, I'm gonna be watching this stuff in the morning. It's gotta be a pretty big drop if it's not a card that's in best of. A lot of these cards have rebounded, right? Kimmich was 105 two days ago. Gomez was 360, Zaha was 190. A lot of these informs have gone back up. We're gonna need to see some pretty spicy panic today to get involved. And I do think we are gonna see that. Now it might not become, it might not be a super high amount of panic early in the morning. There might be some, uh, but I feel like you might see a lot of panic after the content drop as well, because this is something new that not a lot of people um, are, were expecting to start the day. Y even yesterday on Thursday, people weren't expecting to have pre-Black Friday. The EA literally gave us, I didn't expect any of this, boys. I'll be completely honest. 
this was sprung on me today like crazy. I was not expecting pre-Black uh, Friday content whatsoever. So definitely watch for Panic Cell in the morning. That could be an opportunity for you to pick up, especially icons that are not really going to get uh, supplied that much. I know we will have lightning rounds today, so that'll be a big, um, a big, a big point, and uh, there will be some supply with that for a lot of cards on the market, especially those best of team of the week players. But all the saved up packs were open yesterday. So lightning rounds is kind of your only, um, mostly your only supply today. Some people might have some saved up packs still, but not as many, right? That's why you saw a big dip in prices today is because people uh, went and opened those saved up packs because they thought best of team of the week, yo, Black Friday is here. This is what we were expecting. So they opened those saved up packs uh, and now they don't have them sitting there. And now it's just gonna be lightning round supply today on friday so um one thing i will guarantee you though is a very very nice and healthy rise into the nighttime on fifa ultimate team today keep a close watch on some of these road to the finals um if they do get panic sold these cards could be big big risers in the next couple of days because um again the focus is once again going to turn to these cards um especially the new promo cards as well you know there's going to be a lot of focus on those cards they're going to be supplied pretty heavily from lightning rounds right away a lot of people's eyes are going to be on those but really watch the road to the finals the rule breakers in the panic cell this morning and after 6 p.m because in the next week or so those cards should rebound nicely we should see a really high market tonight on friday and into Saturday. The only thing that would hurt that is that they release some sort of repeatable icon SBC or a, a new team of the week SBC or something like that. If they did a repeatable one, that could be something that would drain the market a lot. Now let's talk about um, the SBC fodder market really fast as well, because I do need to cover this for you guys. 83s are high. They're going to get hit tomorrow. They're going to drop lower. I will tell you right now, I did hear from multiple multiple people today that you can pack the best of team of the week cards from the current team of the week upgrade SBC. I was told that multiple times today. Somebody said they packed Walker or saw somebody pack Walker from a current team of the week upgrade. So that means those cards are packable. Uh, and that means there's demand for 82s and 83 rated cards. With lightning rounds today, I do think these drop, especially if the SBCs that we get content wise aren't that good. I think you'll see the rest of the fodder market drop as well. Now it went up today again after rewards when I wasn't really expecting it to uh, from like Wednesday night into Thursday and even throughout Thursday, it continued to kind of go up um, just because I think people out there are still completing that icon SBC and they're expecting big content today on a Friday. So they're buying these cards up because fodder did dip a little bit uh, around the content drop today with people opening the saved up packs and it has got invested in again and it's kind of bounced back. As we look at the index 86, I think that's what it's going to show us. Yeah, we had a saved up pack, so we're open. It dipped, and now it's kind of rising back up because people are expecting uh, there to be bigger SBCs today. I think that's why people are investing in this stuff. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. If there is no big SBC content today, this is going to drop lower, and it's going to make all the SBCs that have been out recently um, a lot cheaper. So that's kind of what I'm expecting today, boys. A little panic in the morning. We're going to really figure out what happens at 6 p.m. today with content. It looks like a new promo team, SBC's objectives, maybe a bit of a dip after that, depending on what comes out, and then a rebound, really high, nice rebound into the nighttime. Uh, the biggest percentage drops that you see on out-of-pax cards is going to be the way to go, honestly, for a quick flip investment, and then icons as well. Uh, if we take uh, kind of a an approach on buying the panic selling today. Now, I want to take a step backwards and look at yesterday a little bit more just because this is big info, right? They put out more Icon SBCs today. They put out Burkamp, Verone, and Luis Hernandez, two middle items and a base Luis Hernandez. And they're pricing these almost like spot on with what the actual card is going for on the market, which sucks, man. It sucks because these Icon SBCs at this early stage of the game, they just don't seem worth it. Doing an SBC for 450K for a Luis Hernandez. Now, if SBC fodder drops and these cards plummet, then, you know, or the cost of these plummet, then, you know, maybe there's a bit of more of an incentive to do that. But usually what you're looking for is the SBC to be, you know, at least 25% less than the card on the market because you get some packs back that are tradable. And then uh, you get that card for a cheaper price along with those packs back because you're, instead of having a tradable item that you can then sell at any time to have coins for, you're having an untradable icon in your club. So EA is really trying to drain the coins out of this market with price with pricing the 
icons at the same price as their market price. That's kind of very interesting from what I have seen. Uh, we had that content today. And then, of course, the objective Delofeu. And then the best of the team of the week cards that were coming back into packs. So, again, like I mentioned before, masterclass from EA today. Serious masterclass from EA because they really got every, they got to drain all those saved up packs off the market. And now there's nobody or not as many people sitting on packs today for a new promo team, which it looks like they're going to be dropping today based off of the loading screen and all sort of that stuff. So, uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. Now, this item right here, it's kind of the same, uh, same exact objectives and uh, requirements as the Bellerin and as the Malay were. Now, this card isn't too terrible, of course. Left wings in the Syria are a little bit scarce. I think we have Insigne, and I don't know who else we have, but um, this is a decent looking card if you if you take a look at the end games. He's not bad. He nearly does not look too bad. So if that's a card you're interested in doing, Spanish links as well, not terrible. Uh, and then of course, the best of Team of the Week cards, seriously, stay away from some of these. They probably will rebound a bit tonight. If you want to be a little risky with it, this guy like Renato Sanchez here, he's going to get packed from Lightning Round Supply today. He's probably going to continue dropping. And then at some point, he is going to hit a low and rebound. I would not be surprised if this Inform card reaches like low, maybe mid 100K, like 150,000 coins possibly. 82 rated. He's going to get a lot of supply uh, from Lightning Rounds today because there should be a lot of Lightning Rounds with the Flash SBCs tr providing tradable cards in the market as well. Just watch out for these cards. They might bounce a little tonight, um, but I think your most safe investment and your safe flip opportunity is in really meta goals that are out of packs, out of packs in forums, road to the finals, and rule breakers and icons as well. So again, the most important part is you should see a really nice rise in the market tonight uh, unless EA drops something crazy uh, for the stuff that is out of packs. Uh, and yeah, it should be a fun day on Footman. I'm really just excited honestly to see what they drop today because this is new territory for black friday this is totally new territory with this loading screen with having an actual promo team on black friday we are used to just having we are we are used to just having best of team of the weekend packs a couple sbcs and that was our content basically everything that came yesterday and now we have this new stuff right here uh showing up in front of us for today so it's going to be interesting, boys. It's going to be a big day. We'll see what EA decide to do. Uh, and once again, if you, if you haven't even bought FIFA yet, tell your friends, man. I think FIFA's like 50% off on Amazon or something I saw today. It's ridiculous. They're really, they really want people to buy their game and spend some FIFA points <laughs> today on the game. So that's kind, of the, that's kind of what's going on in FIFA, dudes. I'll be honest. Black Friday is here, though. It's looking different. We're going to ride with it. We're going to figure it out. Uh, I should be live streaming today at some point as well. That link is down in the description. Somewhere around the content drop time, you will see me live talking about this stuff, making some investments, and watching the market react and seeing what comes out today in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.